Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I will be playing in the Hazard 1. This is a Tier 7 Blitz Nation medium. It is the first of the three Season 5 vehicles that you can get your hands on. Now, usually, you can get the Tier 7 for free. And then it's the tier 8 and tier 9 that you're going to have to spend money to get fully equipped. But that's sweet. The fact that you can get a free tier 7 collector fully equipped is honestly epic. And I can tell you just from looking at the statistics and armor profile that this tank might be the strongest tier 7 season tank they've put out yet in terms of armor, mobility, and damage per shot. What do I mean? Well, let's first of all take a brief look at this vehicle's gun. It features 280 damage per shot. This is a medium at tier 7. That is a wild amount of damage per shot. And look at the high explosive, 370. If you get lightly armored opponents, especially down in tier 6, yeah, this thing's gonna slap. It has decent mills of pen, 168 on the standard and 220 on the gold. Nothing crazy, like you're obviously not gonna cut through a Tiger II frontally or a Chise, but... It's enough pen that you should be able to deal with mediums and lighter armored opponents. The tank is sitting at a pretty average 2,000 damage per minute, and its dispersion paired with aiming time are also pretty average. But it doesn't really matter when you deal 280 damage per shot. That makes this one of the highest damage per shot tier 7s, apart from the CS52 lease for the mediums category. It has 8 degrees of gun depression, making it fairly flexible. And it's pretty mobile, top speed of 50, reverse of 18, and a power to weight of 19.8. The major thing that I really like about this vehicle, however, is the armor. If we actually make our way over to Armor Inspector, we can see what we're looking at here, and the turret is all red. We can see that it's about 170 millimeters thick. Even with 168 mils of AP pen, that turret is quite red. And you can even angle it. That's the weird part. Like, you can actually angle this turret and make it upwards of 230 and 180. You can even angle it more. It's really weird, but this is almost like a German super heavy style turret. But just the fact that it's about 180 mils thick means that you're going to have to load gold to cut through this vehicle with any tier 7 medium or tier 6 in general. Not only that, but the upper plate's also pretty strong. We can see it's about 190 to 200 millimeters thick because of the way it's angled. It's really weird armor, but it's quite solid. So because of that, I actually think that this vehicle is going to be a beast. It's got armor, it's got alpha, and it has pretty good mobility. What else could you want from a tier 7? Well, here we go into our first game, and we'll see what we're able to do in this goofy looking vehicle. This is not a completely ugly tank. The tier 7 uh, is not bad, but the Quetzal at tier 8 and the Argonaut at tier 9, I think, are both absolutely hideous. For some reason, the Wargaming devs are very bad at designing uh, good-looking vehicles when you're tasking them to do it on their own. I don't know why. They just usually don't do a great job. I wish they would, though. This one, it's okay. I'll give it like a solid 6 out of 10 in the looks department. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the worst. So, we can see the mobility here. Like, the tank's not anything crazy in terms of, you know, speed, but it's not slow. You will get up to speed, and... Look at that, 333 chunk off of that AMX-13 M24. That's a lot of damage. So what are we going to do? Well, we have the uh, enemy AMX, and there you go. Nice shell into his vehicle. That obviously outtrades him quite a bit. Looks like I got shot in the uh, in the hull from that one there. We're going to aim it on that AMX, but we're not able to get the shell out yet. And bonk, there you go, 278. I mean, that DPS is huge. Uh, the fact that you're just able to roll people for 280, and let's just get a shell into the Endurance. Look at that, 282. Now our driver does die, and yeah, I don't love the way that our team is, is playing in this game here, but we should be able to move up just a bit and maybe get a shell into this fair. Oh, oh, we got the Endurance shooting at me. Okay, a little, little stinker mickadinker. Oh, and we get hit by the SU. That's not too surprising, though. That SU features ridiculous amounts of pen. Uh, it's actually the highest pen 
in tier 7. So, something to always keep in mind when you're up against that tank. Just trying to bait a shot from his vehicle. Ooh, that works too. And look at that. A bounce right on our turret. As I said, the armor on this vehicle is actually pretty solid if you're using just the turret. Which will allow you to get some decent bounces. So I'm hoping that... Well, that works too. The VZ's going to miss. Then we're able to drive open. And there you go. 267 damage shell. What does that put us up to in this game? That puts us up to 2,000 damage already. That's pretty dang solid. So, we have the SU-100M1, we have the Endurance, and I'm going to drive out just a little bit so we can slam a shell right into the Endurance's roof for 298. We reload again in just a couple seconds. Let's see if we can get a shell into that SU-100M1. Bonk 305. This thing is great. It really is. Like, that alpha damage paired with the fact that it's even decently accurate on the move and everything like that. It makes this a really, really enjoyable tank to drive. We get a nice shell right into this Vare. That's pretty solid. We're going to put on our Adrenaline. T-34-2 is going to shoot at him, so we're going to push down low now and aim it on the, uh, on the VK. Or not the VK, the VZ. There you go. Easy shots. You're dead. And now all we have left is the enemy's Vare, who we're going to aim in a shell on the side of and get a clear. So just like that, we had a really solid first battle in this tank. The armor on the turret worked just like I hoped it would, and we were able to deal 3,400 damage, pulling out a first class and earning 77,000 credits. That's something that's also great about these tier 7 vehicles, is that they usually have decent credit coefficients, which as we can see, do allow you to uh, not have to worry if you're loading gold or anything like that. But yeah, a really solid first game, and a great showcase of just everything on why I feel this vehicle is the best of all three. The DPM is not bad. Like, 2,000 for a Tier 7 is actually pretty solid. Yes, there are vehicles like the T-34, 85 Rudy, which are upwards of 2,700. The T-23 E3 is upwards of 2,850. And you even have vehicles like the M41D, which can go up to almost 3,000 DPM. However, while there are vehicles that have more DPM, they don't feature more alpha. 280, especially with that high explosive of 370, if you're up against any lightly armored opponents, I honestly think you're going to just rip them apart. So, uh, yeah, let's get into another game here. We are on Port Bay, which is one of my least favorite maps in the game, down to the fact it's just not good in any way. However, we are in a tank that does fine on any map due to the fact it has gun depression, alpha, and armor paired with mobility. As I always say, the way you should rate a tank is based off of its weaknesses. And the only weakness that I can think of for this vehicle is the fact that it doesn't have much premium pen. Up against tier 8s, especially heavily armored ones, you might struggle a bit. But, it's a medium, so honestly, if you can't pen a Tiger too frontally, use your mobility and get around to its side. We have the M41 Bulldog. That shell on my brain looked like it went right through, but it must have, uh, must have gone a little bit before him there. So we have that hazard in the back, we're aiming on the hazard, and beautiful. Looks like he over-angled his turret, and we were able to get a nice little chunker off of his tank. Alright, well, let's see if we can get a nice HE out, and... Oh... There you go, look at that, 368 high explosive, that's wild, the fact that I can get just that big of an HE out. We do have the uh, Chiri, not able to pen a high explosive, but a 250 roll, I will take it. I mean, that's that's a huge amount of damage when you actually think about it, especially for a tier 7. So there you go, 277 into the enemy Chiri. I don't even think you can pen me, to be honest. Again, the armor on this tank is way better than you expect it to be. Look at that armor there, I mean, I have to actually load gold in this tank to pen it. That's crazy. All right, well, let's move up and uh, see what else we can do. Hazard, he's kind of chilling. We're just going to aim it on his hull. There you go. Nice shot. We do get penned by the Yag Panther, but that is a tank destroyer after all. And that vehicle has really, really good levels of pen as it is. Uh, I was going to try and get a shell back into the Yag, but we were not able to. But yeah, the armor on the Hazard is way better than I expected it to be. Like, just looking at that enemy Hazard, look at that turret, look at that hull. It is so red, that's actually insane. So, we're doing pretty good here. We are already up to uh, a solid amount of damage. I'm just going to aim it on the Yag Panther. There you go. Easy shot, and we reload once again. This game is already over. The enemy t 71s pulling up now, and... Oh, come on, give me a shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bonk, there you go, 307 right into his tank. We got the Tiger left on the other side, and what I'm kind of hoping is that we can get a shell into the T-71, and then shoot the Tiger. Boom, easy shot. Tiger is bleeding me out a little bit, but nothing I'm personally too worried about. Let's see if the Tiger pokes it. Come on, poke it, you little goober. Well, looks like he's not gonna, but that's fine with me. We're just gonna 
drive on up here and squeeze right over to this Tiger 1. Let's put on our adrenaline as well to get out that reload as quickly as possible. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, good sir? Well, you have 225 damage per shot, and I'm sitting at a 280 damage per shot. Ooh, sorry. 317. That's gotta hurt quite a bit. Let's reload again. Three, a two, a one. Bonk. 220 right into his tiger's lower plate. And there you go, a pretty solid win, dealing over 3,500 damage. That's two back-to-back -back games and a great showcase of this vehicle. Let's take a look. Did we ace it? We got two kills. We blocked a decent amount. Nah, we didn't ace it, but I bet we earned a lot of credits. We did, 78,000. So, pretty good in general. Uh, at the end of the day, the Hazard is a fantastic Tier 7 medium, and the fact that you can get it for free is amazing. Yes, you can sell it for, I think, 500 gold, yeah, if you really, really are desperate for that gold, but this is not a tank I would recommend selling unless you do not get it fully equipped. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this vehicle, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!